Okay, this is Sugar walking on the leash. She's graduating in a couple days. We cut her training short because she's behaving so well. I'm very proud of her progress. She is a wonderful dog. She's very eager to please. She's not naturally aggressive, but she had taken on the role of protector of the family, like security guard. She felt it was her job to defend the family and to alert the family. When she hears a noise outside, she would bark. Um, and she was very uh, aggressive to strangers who came in the house. She was very aggressive to new dogs. I sent you a video of her nipping at a dog. So the great news is we uh, solved that problem. Uh, the litmus test was yesterday. I brought a dog in and she accepted that dog and it was not an easy dog. It was a wild dog like I call them wild child where they're just very hyper, very uh, not respecting personal space and things like that. So she did fantastic and so that's why I feel she's ready to go home. Uh, so Sugar is eager to please but we've given her a new role, okay? So instead of security guard, come, stay. Good girl. In, instead of the role of security guard and protector of the family, we want her to have the role of just a sweetheart, you know, live up to her name. Sugar is sweet. She, you know, I changed her collar from the spike collar to just a normal friendly collar. We want her to uh, embrace this new personality of just being a happy, gentle, friendly dog, super friendly. Um, not a defending, not a defender of the family. So that's uh, the big difference. What happens is, I mean, she's a powerful dog. There's no doubt about it. She's very strong, okay? And so at some point, you either uh, rewarded her or gave her affection or praise for being strong and for being, you know, you felt safer with her around. But see, um, now that that's leads to the bully behavior that you see and the, uh, the rough play, which I don't allow. So she doesn't do any of that. And it's kind of fascinating to watch because what you'll see is now that I taught her not to rough play, she just lays on her belly and lets the puppies, you know, rough play her. It, I don't like that either. I don't want the puppy to learn to rough play, but it's fascinating to watch her, the dramatic change, because she is eager to please. Not all dogs are that way. So that means you're gonna, you have a wonderful dog here that she's eager to please. So whatever you take the time to show her, uh, you know, that's the way she's going to behave because she really is. Uh, she really wants to please you. So you can see how excellent she walks on the leash because she is a big, strong dog. Uh, I'm using the prong collar. Uh, you can see that occasionally she pulls me and she wants to go into the wilderness there. And that's what the prong collar helps is um, so we don't have to struggle so much, okay? So um, the prong collar helps you. <laughs> I know you smell something, girl, but it's time to go. We're not going to go into the bushes, okay? So, um, yeah, everything else, uh, regard. it's hard for me to record her because she likes to walk very close to my body. It makes it hard to do the video, but um, let's see. Everything else is fine with her. Her diet is fine. She's eating and her poop looks solid. Um, her basic commands, okay, she's three years old, okay? So, uh, 
you know, heard the saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Okay, so I tried to teach her the down command and every day for two weeks, we practiced that over and over and she still, when I say it, she just still does not, she has not figured it out. That's because the window for fast learning is closed. Um, you know, that's puppy behavior and learning and she's no longer a puppy, so it was much harder to learn. However, the good news is she learned not to be uh, aggressive to new dogs. So that is great, because that's what she's here for, not for the down command. So I'll make a video later of her doing her basic commands and she's very good with them, but regarding that that down command, she's not a fan of it. She did not learn it. I'll show you in the video later. So, um, when you introduce her to a new dog, please do it the way I showed you in the video. You're going to put them both be behind a gate or a fence and leave them there for 10, 20 minutes so they get relax and you can watch their behavior uh, safely there's no chance of no any dog getting bit and so that's the way you should do that when you're sure that they're going to be friendly then you'll let them interact if she um, is rough playing with tug uh, you're going to break that up quickly you're going to scold her loudly you know my main tool as a dog trainer is my loud voice. I scream like, you know, rah, because I want them to understand the seriousness of rough play. I don't want a dog to be injured. And um, injuries are, you know, very easy when, it, when they're rough playing. So look at the force. See how strong she's pulling me? And that's with the prong. So without the prong, she'd be pulling me into that culvert, okay? Because she smells an animal. And, <laughs> oh, look, an animal pooped right there. That's what she smells. She's got a very strong nose, I can tell, because one day a cat was sitting over there, right? And the cat had left before she saw it. But she went right to that spot where the cat was. She has a good nose. So, um, again, if she, the, the instant that she does rough play with Tug, you're going to shout, hey, no. She understands the no command. But the volume of your voice tells her how serious you are about this rule. So you're going to shout no, and you're going to take her and put her in a timeout. A crate, a garage, a laundry room, somewhere where she has limited access. Um, this is to let her know that you do not approve and you're not going to allow rough play. Okay, and you got to do that every time that she exhibits rough play. Okay, because... I'm, you know, she knows that rough play is not allowed in my house. Now you've got to show her that it's not allowed in your house either. And so be consistent. When you see it, immediately put her in her timeout area for 10 to 15 minutes. And I promise you, yeah, the problem will go away. Um, I can't think of anything else. Okay, come. Okay, stay. No, we're not going in the water today, girl. We're just staying away from the car, okay? <laughs> no, you can't go near the car, okay? Okay, so, um, I can't think of anything else to report. She's a great dog. Uh, she's very affectionate, very smart. Um, Let's see, anything else? I can't think of anything else. I'm gonna do her canine good citizen paperwork later today. And then you can tell me, just text me what time you wanna pick her up on Wednesday. And two weeks, so that was $400. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I'll make the video of her doing her basic commands later. 
and you know any um, if anything comes up behavior wise just message me we'll solve the problem together and when you do go on vacation please bring her back bring tug also so um, you know I'd love to watch your dogs while you go on vacation that's a great time for me to fine-tune her behavior if there's any issues that come up that's a great time to address them okay so I'll make that other video when she does her basic commands later this morning and um, I'm gonna miss this dog because uh, she's very affectionate she sat the whole two weeks she just sit with me on the couch she's very um, she's a very sweet dog I know why you named her sugar you know but you know she's got the bull behavior in her in the sense that uh, she's strong she's powerful and you know the bulldogs they gotta they gotta <laughs> they have a very strong personality so uh, we want her to embrace this new personality of hey relax no rough play you're not defending the house the house is fine we have that's the energy you have to uh, project for her at home is that you have everything under control you don't need an alarm system which, which is her barking that's really disruptive when everything she hears outside she barks that's not that's not uh, good for a peaceful home so she doesn't do that anymore but you're gonna see first she's gonna do this she's gonna go grrr that means she heard something if you don't say hey no don't do that no she knows the no command see how she turned around no she knows that no command but you have to enforce it but start when the bar the growling is small because if you don't correct her then she's gonna go full-on barking and f barking is a precursor it's pre-aggression barking is saying this give me my space give me my 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 territory or I I may bite you and that's what barking is so that's why barking's not allowed it's disruptive and it causes everyone anxiety so um, <laughs> this is I wish all dogs uh, left this well behaved but she is a very smart dog and uh, she just had that one issue of rough play and greeting a strangers wrong and we've corrected those problems so I'm very happy with her progress